Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel and uh, today we are going to talk about SharePoint on-premise integration with other apps. As my SharePoint subscribers know that uh, with, uh, in last few days I was not making videos of SharePoint. I was much giving much concentration about Dynamics CRM because there was a reason I had very few videos of Dynamics so I was uh, uh, emphasizing on that technology in order to add more videos in my channel regarding dynamic CRM but now uh, uh, the wait is over and uh, I, I am sorry to all of you uh, who are my SharePoint related subscribers that uh, you have you waited for uh, a long time for new videos but since now I am going to uh, update regularly about the SharePoint videos as well so I'm going to tell you one thing important that now we are going to see uh, beyond vision okay uh, the horizon of SharePoint is expanded now and now we are going to see that how Microsoft offers its uh, product integration uh, that is SharePoint on-premise integration with other apps okay uh, so SharePoint uh, has an op has a, a very vast uh, capability of uh, merging or integration with other apps in order to make a complete ecosystem as you all know that by default uh, we are talking about SharePoint 2019 and server subscription edition 2022 uh, both uh, terminologies and both technologies are almost same with uh, little changes so if we talk about these uh, two technologies of Microsoft that is uh, you can say that SharePoint basically the SharePoint uh, theme is uh, same and SharePoint idea is same uh, along with little advancements or uh, with respect to security and uh, features point of view uh, that I have already covered in my previous video so if we talk about uh, how and what SharePoint can integrate its uh, with itself to increase its uh, features or functionalities for that purpose first of all there is Microsoft Exchange server that is on-premise server you can uh, deploy your uh, separate server of Microsoft Exchange on premise in an on-premise environment. I am going to upload a video of uh, installing Exchange Server step by step very soon. So, a Microsoft Exchange Server can be linked or can be integrated with SharePoint 2019. Okay, as a result, it will uh, offer you to in, uh, increase functionality of uh, mailing or instant messaging or alert services as you all know that by default SharePoint doesn't have any uh, out of the box available option of mailing and correspondence for that purpose you have to uh, integrate a separate server in your domain to make it capable of these features that is mailing instant messaging or alert services there are many other services as well that I will talk uh, later on but these are main services because since SharePoint has the strength of having the documents management so it is very important that you may in order to increase the collaboration you have to integrate the functionality of mailing so that you can mail the document to any other user you can send the document to any other user you can share the document with any other user you can also uh, perform a instant messaging service so that you can talk about some document for example uh, if uh, multiple team members are working on one document and uh, they are uh, want to share instant messages with each other they can use the services similarly there are alert services for example the team leader can uh, uh, assign or manage or uh, trigger some uh, alerts on some particular documents that whenever the document changes an alert notification may be generated to him so that he may uh, uh, be he may know that whoever uh, uh, is changing that document okay if we talk about uh, the demonstration point here you can see that uh, in documents uh, SharePoint is giving you an option of share on clicking share you can see that it is very easy that you can share this uh, document link because it's sending the link this is the beauty of Microsoft SharePoint 
that Microsoft is uh, sending this document as a link to any other user. Okay, this means that your mailing server will have limited or very less load of sending the links only. The document will remain in its position and its link that is its actual address where it is residing will be sent to the user along with the message. It will not send the complete file because sending the complete file for example if there is a file of uh, very large size then it's not recommended that you share it multiple times to any other user for collaboration. The best and the ideal scenario is that that you send the link. That is if I copy the link uh, this is the link that is copied uh, and uh, this link can be sent to any other user so that the user may access that document along with the permission that is granted to that user. For example, I am sending it to specific people and I am also allowing them to edit. It means that the URL of the document will be changed accordingly at the runtime so that the user who will access the document can also have the access to edit the document. But if I uncheck this that and apply it and send it, it means that the link that will be sent to that user will have the access will give the access of only read permissions to that user. It will not allow the user to edit. This is actually the beauty of the system. But um, I'm going into other uh, topic. But uh, the thing is very simple that uh, if I uh, go and uh, write the address HR manager is not in my list. Let's say I'm going to send it to HR payroll manager. Please discuss. I am writing a message that please discuss. I am going to send the email. Now, this email, the message is sent to me that this mail, email has been sent. But there is no email server that is configured with SharePoint up till now. So, it means that this message is unable to be transmitted uh, through any outgoing or incoming email server. For that purpose, in order to make this feature available, you have to integrate it with some messaging or SMTP or POP3 server for emailing service. Okay, so that purpose, for that purpose, in order to inc increase the functionality of SharePoint, we linked it, we link it with the uh, Microsoft Exchange server in order to enable these services. Okay. So if we talk about uh, next one, that is Microsoft linked or Skype for business on premise. Thanks to Microsoft that Microsoft is uh, very uh, uh, kind enough to share these uh, things that uh, it's also offering Skype for business on premise in an on premise environment. It means that since it's a Microsoft product, so it can be easily linked with the Microsoft SharePoint 2019 or server subscription edition that is running on in on-premise version. So that, uh, this is also a great thing that you are linking your uh, video collaboration server. Basically Skype for Business is used for video, video uh, services. You can have a P2P or a multiple uh, uh, audience uh, video conference in which you can share your files now microsoft you know it has been switched to it has upgraded its version to microsoft teams but i don't think so uh, maybe i will be ri right or wrong microsoft teams is not available in an on premise version but up till the previous version that was skype for business or microsoft link it was available and this server can be linked with sharepoint 2019 so in this way the users uh, let me show you again through demonstration part here you can see that some users are being shown the green indication and the yellow indication and uh, red indication the color icon will appear here and that will show that these users if there are multiple documents uh, that are edited or modified by different users these users will be here in uh, multiple rows but you will see the uh, through the color coding it will show you that the user having 
green color is video available video capable as well as available yellow means he is aware he is away uh, he may not be using his pc or he may be away from his office for, for since few minutes and similarly there are other col color coding as well so all the users who are video capable they will automatically be shown here and uh, by using this color coding you can uh, call them you can message them and you can share these uh, documents as well so uh, in this way you can say that it will uh, help you in video collaboration services and instant messaging services as well okay now the third option is you can integrate office online on premise server with sharepoint that is a very very powerful tool of uh, of uh, microsoft that uh, it has also uh, given the facility to uh, implement it and integrate it in your on premise or your isolated domain server so licensing will remain the condition but uh, by using this product you can get a very beneficial uh, option of editing or viewing your documents on office online server in the form of web interface it means that uh, it it gives you an option of view edit ms documents online let's go again to the demonstration part here you are seeing that this is a document and if i click here uh, in open there are two options either it can be open in word or in word online if i click on word online it's asking me to download it because right now my sharepoint environment is not configured with office online server if i have office online server online uh, uh, that is configured on my on premise domain and that is integrated with the microsoft sharepoint i can easily access these documents that are microsoft document whether it is uh, uh, an uh, excel file it is a word file it is a powerpoint file or related microsoft word documents it can be open in uh, office on web or office online server you can even edit that document online in the web interface and you can even share it or collaborate on it with multiple users that is known as co-authoring okay so if we again go here it's giving you an option of viewing and editing microsoft documents online in the web interface it means that you can uh, you are given the option you are given uh, you, you are benefited with the option of not installing your microsoft word client application on every pc all you have to do is to deploy a server in your domain in server farm of office online server and integrate it with sharepoint the rest it will benefit you to all the users who can edit who can view or who can share the documents that are placed in your sharepoint document libraries online in the web interface so that's a very powerful tool i have already deployed in in many scenarios uh, in my organizations where i uh, used to work but uh, uh, it all depends upon my viewers who are viewing this video if they comment and uh, ask me to make a video of integration step by step of any of this part i am here to available it all depends upon the user's response okay right now i am going to keep it uh, theoretical along with a little touch of demonstration so that my users may understand the basic idea and basic function uh, features and basic strengths of sharepoint okay so the next point is microsoft power bi on premise platform okay this is actually yeah, you now the users who are new to sharepoint are now actually realizing what are the strengths and what are the benefits that microsoft is providing you even in an on premise version and let's uh, just uh, con uh, just think about this thing that if all of these servers are configured in an ecosystem what a perfect system it is making for you or for your organization and similarly if you are well conversant upon uh, integration of all of these components to make it a uh, complete ecosystem or erp system for your organization then how beneficial are you for that that organization so 
all you need to do is to subscribe my channel and continue watching these videos and i am sure and i will try my best to make you the expert of these systems okay so now microsoft power bi on premise that is a platform um, uh, i know that all of you must be familiar with power bi it is a very uh, commonly used uh, platform nowadays because it gives you a very uh, uh, strength uh, in uh, data analytics tools it gives you a very wonderful tools in which you can generate reports for your uh, big bosses who don't want to go into the details of the data who just want to see the graphical reports of uh, and uh, do such analysis or decision making based on that reports for that purpose uh, you integrate your sharepoint environment with the power bi that is power business intelligence platform and uh, after uh, configuring and integrating it with sharepoint all the data of sharepoint list can be integrated and viewable through uh, in a real time environment through that graphical reports to your uh, persons who have been given access to that systems okay the next part is power apps if you notice here uh, you can see that uh, the color coding is little darker than the other ones the reason being is that microsoft has hasn't yet given this option in an on premise environment power apps cannot be configured in an on premise environment but but it can be linked with an on premise environment through internet connecting gateway because it needs power apps needs an internet connection and you have to subscribe you have to purchase license and uh, subscription for using power apps for your sharepoint on premise environment okay uh, all it uh, will give you an strength of customizing forms and layouts now the last point is microsoft dynamics i am already uh, making videos about dynamics uh, a lot uh, in last few days i was focusing on dynamics a lot and i was ignoring sharepoint videos that may be i know a little irritating for my sharepoint viewers and subscribers and i i'm just uh, sorry that uh, they may be irritated because why i was not making these videos okay but it will not happen uh, in future uh, I have already apologized to my subscribers. <laughs> now, the next thing is that that Microsoft Dynamics 365. Okay, all you know is that Microsoft Dynamics is a platform that is used for as an ERP system to build a customer relation management. That is a CRM based uh, app. So, in CRM, it always uh, there is always a need of storing the related documents to particular records because you know that dynamic crm operates on entities and in entities there are records and these records may have the need for storing some document form documents for that purpose dynamics 365 can also be integrated with sharepoint server okay now I think uh, this is a complete video of the Microsoft products. Maybe there may be some uh, little more products that can be uh, linked with Microsoft, but I haven't gone through practical experience. But up till now, all of the points that I have covered, I have practically worked on these points. I have practically integrated them with the SharePoint integration uh, environments in many organizations, and they are being uh, using or getting advantages of this complete ecosystem. In my next videos, I will cover them, each of them in details. And uh, guys who are new uh, visitors uh, of SharePoint or any other Microsoft technology, I request you to subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos. I thank you all.